Hello, welcome. I'm Vanessa from Hello to Spain and I am at a really beautiful country house um, in Yacuña, which is just outside of Villalonga. And we are in the mountains. So if you do not want to live peace and quiet in the countryside, this is not the right property for you. However, if you're looking for the country lifestyle, a few minutes drive down to main town Gandia and a short drive over to the Val de Galanera, this could be the house for you. Uh, it's very spacious, we've got plenty of off-road parking, we've got a gated driveway, uh, we've got outbuildings, we've got double garage, um, we've got a good sized house. It needs some money spending on it so I'm not going to hide that from you. Um, we have got this shed here, so this could be a workshop or ideal for storing bicycles, or whatever you want really. So the plot is fenced and we've got several different little areas. So if you have several dogs and you want to put a dog in one area and another in another, um, you've got the space to do that. That's one of the entrances in there, but I'm going to walk you around the driveway going down to the garage. So we have here another little enclosure. But you can see the house needs some painting, but when I can see what I can see, the roof looks sound. There doesn't look like there's any structural work. Obviously, I'm not a, a surveyor. However, I've been selling property since 1997. So I've got a normally a fairly good eye for any sort of signs of subsidence. But there's nothing here. It's actually looked quite a pretty house. And you'll see when we go inside, there's plenty of space. We've got a carport, we've got a double garage, and behind the garage we've got um, the shed with the generator in because we're on solar and generator for electricity. Again, you're going to need to get that installed and get that working at the moment. It's not working. We've got five big plaques up on the roof here in the, the garage. Um, but as I say, you know, it does need some money spending on it. But uh, the price is negotiable. There's the plaques up there, look on the roof terrace. And you can see, very sunny position. Okay, so we are going to go into the property this way. So we've got two entrances to the Naya. Very, very spacious Naya we have here. Um, we've actually got central heating as well. We've got double glazing. I can see some of the windows of what they call blown. So some of them need, uh, not replacing, but you can get double glazing fixed. And you've got those beautiful bowed ceilings and uh, the exposed timber beams there. So this is the main door here going through into the sitting room. So we've got a very nice sized sitting room. We've got stairs leading up to the first floor. We've got a door to the kitchen, a door to the swimming pool. We've got hot and cold air conditioning. Just in this little area here, we have a wood burning stove. You've got the chimney there, look. But just taking you around, look. Nice size sitting room. Uh, so while I'm down this end, I'm gonna just show you, we've got a bedroom down here. So we've got a double bedroom down in here. Double bedroom, quite nice, got a nice view out to the countryside there. We've got a walk-in wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe. And we have an ensuite, if you see, B-Day, vanity units. And we've got a power shower there. It's quite nice, you've got a window. I like to see a window in the bathroom. Okay, and did I point out hot and cold air conditioning there? So let's go on through the sitting room. We're gonna go through to the kitchen. As you can see, we've got radiators. So we have got central heating. So very nice. It's what I call a country kitchen, to be honest with you. Um, I sold many properties in the UK, a lot of country houses with country style kitchens. We haven't got an oven. We haven't got a microwave, but we've got a five ring gas hob there. Uh, we've got a wood burner in the corner. Some people think, oh, a wood burner in the kitchen. Well, actually, in the UK, I lived in a farmhouse 
uh, and I had a wood burner in the kitchen because that's actually where I spent most of my time in the winter. Well, actually in the summer as well. Very nice. So you've got a ceiling fan, plenty of storage there. And then coming through into here, we've got the swimming pool. So we've got an indoor swimming pool. And then we have a shower room in here as well. So that's handy. If you've been for a swim in the pool, you have a shower and wash the chlorine off. So going up to the first floor, look at this beautiful staircase. It's very pretty. Uh, this looks like marble, marble tiles here. Going on up to, well, look at this, another like sitting room area. What a massive landing, beautiful landing look. And you've got the exposed timber beams, bowered ceilings, but what a very useful room. You could have this as a games room or something. So um, we've got a door there, double sliding patio doors leading out to a terrace. I'm going to take you this way first. Uh, this is just a very useful store cupboard, could be an airing cupboard. And then we've got a WC, B day, and a wash basin under the window here. And we're gonna to go to the left first of all. So in here, we've got utility, but look at the wardrobe space we have in here. Massive, massive amount of wardrobe space. Loads of wardrobe space. Then we've got a door going out to this terrace. Very sunny, very sunny terrace, look. Just look at the view, countryside. So if you like the countryside, this is perfect for you. You're not isolated because you have got neighbours around as well, which is nice. So you've got the, bo the best of both worlds, countryside but not isolated. Okay, so um, utility, come storage, uh, in here, a, a double bedroom, nice size double bedroom, and again, look, views over to the mountains, and the sea is down to the right there, but you can see the sea from one of the other bedrooms, and then into here, we've got another good sized bedroom, it's got an ensuite bathroom, so you've got the bath, WCB day, wash space, and again, you've got a window in here. And then you've got the bedroom, look at those mirror robes. And in the distance down there is actually the sea, but it's very hazy today, so you don't really get much of a sea view, but there is the sea down there. So, as I say, decent sized double bedroom, plenty of wardrobe space. And you've got this nice dressing area here. You could put your little cabinet there, little dressing table, put your makeup on. That's if you wear makeup, because I don't. Okay, so let's go on over to the other side. Here, we've got another double bedroom. Good size bedroom, got the two sets of built-in mirror robes there. Again, you've got the cupboards over. Uh, you've got air conditioning unit. But uh, yeah, look out again, you've got that lovely view. Let's see if I can open the lovely view over to the mountains. There are, look, it's beautiful, lovely view. Over to the mountains. Uh, we've got double glazing in the house. I've already mentioned we've got uh, central heating. So again, another good size sort of double bedroom. You've got here is a dressing area, and you've got an ensuite bathroom again here. Bathroom, WC, B day, pedestal wash, hand basin, and you've got a obscure glazed window. And then we've got another bedroom here. And this bedroom again, over in the distance there, we do have sea views. That tiny little blue is the sea. But you've got, as I say, a beautiful location here. And if you look at the house, you know, the tiling is all in very good order. And the wardrobes, air conditioning for this bedroom as well. Um, but yeah, it does need painting. It does need kitchen appliances putting in, it needs the solar system uh, up and running. But you know, at the end of the day, look what you've got, a massive house, a massive house. Um, you have the opportunity for, you know, obviously rentals, 
Um, but again, someone who wants peace and quiet and countryside, or if you want to come and live here on a permanent basis, uh, yeah, it's plenty big enough for, for a, actually a good sized family to live in, or if you're working from home, uh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I'm going to just show you the Naya at the front again because of, that's a very big Naya. We came in through that door. I'm going to just take you out through this door here. But yeah, very nice house. Lots of opportunities. Um, oh, I can hear someone doing some gardening. So yeah, as I say, we're not isolated, which is nice because you have got some neighbours nearby. Um, but yeah, look at that beautiful reception there. Beautiful canopy porch. Yep, give me a call, send me an email and I'll be delighted to bring you here. Thank you.